Yo, this is Jarmancer here, and welcome back to another Gaming Rant, the series in which I rant about various things on the internet and in gaming. Today we're going to be focusing specifically on Planetside 2, and we're going to be talking about Redeploy Side. Now, there are a lot and a lot of rants out there against Redeploy Side, and today we're going to do um, a bit of the opposite. We're first going to talk about the advantages of redeploy side, and then we're going to talk about how to possibly make it better and fix it so that it's not just a cheap system. Um, so, what are the advantages of redeploy side? That might sound weird to you, but there are advantage of, advantages of it. Redeploy side was not created just because, it was created for a reason, and that is. Um, there are a lot of players out there, like myself, who don't really run in an outfit, and um, we would like to be able to get places uh, without having to be in a squad and like have a bunch of communication and vehicles and stuff to get places. If you ever watch uh, on Twitch players like Vonic, uh, who are oftentimes not in a squad, um, they will play and they will go wipe out a base and kill a bunch of people and then the fight will get stale and they'll hit the redeploy button go somewhere else take people out and then redeploy away with no regard whatsoever for uh, capturing the base or anything they just want to kill people and I'm kind of like this except um, I kinda want to contribute to my faction a bit more and I'm also stubborn so I'll stick around at a base and defend it against all odds um, to try and stop people from taking it and at that point it's really not to stop them from taking it it's just that um, a lot of the times a lot of fun can come out of just harassing players um, so that's why I like to play infiltrator and light assault a lot because I can defend a base with only like two other guys there on my team and then just like 12 to like 20 uh, enemies and I just like to run around and harass them but so that's the advantage is that oftentimes there are players who want to be able to get places and also the other thing about it is there's zergs you know and so you want to get out of there and um, right now there's not a lot of ways to actually pull vehicles from areas except for the warp gate uh, which is now we're going to get into how to fix it um, and a while back it was actually a couple months ago I don't even know maybe longer than that uh, the devs tried something out for a weekend where they um, made it so that you could uh, access all sunders all over the map and because you currently you currently can't do that you have to be near an area and then you're able to spawn in the spawns there um, and the other thing that they did for that weekend was they uh, changed the dynamic of the uh, support uh, spawns so you'll go up over onto spawns when you're at the map and it will say reinforcements needed and reinforcements needed is when you're out populated and you're being attacked uh, but they changed it so that um, out population it you had to be out populated more in order to actually for it to show up on reinforcements needed and um, this way sunders are really important and if sunders are really important then more people will want to uh, use them and will be able to set them up all over the place and this will actually add some more dynamic to the game because people there'll be convoys of uh, sunders going all over the place uh, to try and set up and so there will be more vehicle game where you'll get we'll get some battles like out in the middle of like between bases which we don't really get very often anymore unless it's just absurd and those aren't really fun but occasionally you know probably all of you have played Planet Side 2 you've gotten into a good fight that's like out in the middle of just the area not at a base that's actually a good fight and those fights are probably the the best but we just don't get good ones like that often enough but if we have lots of sunders going places then and 
tanks and things trying to take them down then we'll get more of those battles between bases so if they actually took those changes that they tried on that weekend and actually made them like actually applied them to the game and added them in then I think that would make it a lot more fun for multiple reasons um, you may say well that would make redeploy slide worse because then there's more places to spawn it but no because you're still trying to move places with vehicles because the biggest complaint against redeploy site is you're not using the natural terrain but if you're trying to set up sunders around places and you're trying to create fights between bases then you're using the natural landscape more instead of just trying to deploy it wherever you know and to have a more incentive to use sunders i think that uh galaxies and sunders when they transport people you should get like a certain amount of experience for transporting people because you get experience for people like spawning in but i think you should get experience for transporting people so you get like i don't know how much per passenger and then like per distance or something like that so if you travel so far with uh, a passenger and then you get experience and the more passengers you have the more experience you get so that would make more people want to actually like load up their sunders and galaxies and try and go places and that would remove uh, more of the redeploy side thing because people are actually trying to load up vehicles and take people places um, and then I also think that small bases that have one point um, I think that they should remove the spawn from them, actually. Just remove all hard spawns from small bases with uh, only one point at it. And I mean, like, small because there are bases um, like uh, tech plants and some amp stations that have, like, one only have one point at it but they're they're big bases so keep keep the spawns at them but like small bases they're they're even ones that aren't like main bases like tech plants and amp stations that are bigger bases that only have one point but like smaller bases so that that way it's more like you're fighting over the base instead of defending or attacking so it's like a small outpost instead of a base um, and also there should be more incentive for uh, people to capture a base as an outfit because if you get little outposts like this then maybe uh, you could have a spawn that only um, outfit members who have captured that outfit can spawn at um, so if an outfit captures a outpost then all members of the outfit could spawn at it and if you can like upgrade the turrets and things at bases just all bases total if you could upgrade turrets and other things like that if you could just have ways of upgrading a base or putting ownership on it as an outfit then hopefully we get more like places where you would come to as an outfit and kind of set up there because you know that the enemy is going to be coming there instead of just trying to get there once the enemy is there and then you're overrun and uh, also I think that if an outfit captures a base then uh, all outfit members should be able to spawn at that base at any time as long as it's still in their possession uh, so when you're looking at the map now that we've applied all these different changes okay you're gonna see uh, reinforcements needed but they're gonna be not as often because it's uh, the out population has to be higher in order in order for reinforcements needed to happen but there will be more sunders, and if you're part of an outfit, then there will be uh, places all over the map uh, if your outfit has captured places. So that you can go to that place, like pull a vehicle, and then your all your outfit can hop in it and you go places, which also helps to combat redeploy site. And so, at the end of the day, you're actually going to have more spawns, but it's less hard spawns so people can actually go and try and take all those spawns out and you will want to be bringing more spawns yourself and so hopefully that will be able to fix a lot of the redeploy side issues that we have and that people argue against and really I don't think it's as big of an issue as people take it to be because like I said at the beginning there are players like myself who don't play in a squad who want to just be able to find a good fight and uh, 
so that's good, but we need to add some changes so that it's not as easy to just fly around the map using uh, just spawning in and not actually have to use vehicles or like run anywhere at all. Because if you watch Vonic, most of what he does is just redeploying. And occasionally he'll pull a vehicle from the warp gate like a like a reaver and then or a scythe or whatever faction he's playing and then fly there and then hop out. Which I do myself a lot as well. But um, a lot of what players will do is just using spawn points from reinforcements needed. I think we need to fix that by hopefully implementing these changes that I talked about and hopefully they'll fix the issues. Of course we would want to like try them out like maybe uh, like the devs did a while back like implement it for a weekend and then they can get some feedback on it or something like that so that we can see how it all would happen. So these are just some suggestions maybe the devs will actually see these suggestions and think about them. If you have any thoughts share them in the comments below I'd like to hear all your thoughts on how this would work, maybe some more ideas on how to fix it, or maybe some issues that would be brought up with the changes that I'm talking about. So yeah, just discuss in the comments below, and I will see you all later.